Well, after setting up shop here in 2016, Cambridge Innovation Center Miami quickly became a pillar of South Florida's startup community. By combining co-working office and laboratory spaces with advising and community building initiatives, CIC Miami has grown into a collaborative hub for local entrepreneurship, innovation, and economic development. According to the Kauffman Foundation's latest report on new business creation, the Miami Fort Lauderdale Pompano Beach metro area has the most startup activity of any major U.S. metro area. Here to share more about South Florida's growing startup scene is Natalia Martinez Kalinina, general manager of CIC Miami and founder of the Awesome Foundation Miami chapter. You have a lot going on, my friend. I have a lot going on. Thank yeah. you for having me. It's great to have you. <laughs> what a pleasure. So let's talk about CIC Miami. Mm -hmm. And CIC was founded originally in Boston yes. back in 1999. Yes. So it's had some growth. It has legs. So tell us about what's going on here. Sure, so the context of CIC as a whole, which I think is relevant for the story of Miami, is that we were started almost 20 years ago in Cambridge, Massachusetts, as the name would imply, not England. And we've <laughs> gone through several, people always ask, yeah. so we've gone through several phases where we were an accelerator for a brief period of time, we were kind of a more traditional co-working space for a period of time, and out of all of these experiences that we had, both running our own business and getting deeply involved in the economic development of the Kendall Square area and of Cambridge, Massachusetts overall, which has changed dramatically mm -hmm. over the last 20 years, we landed at this model of very, at the intersection of several things that we care and we engage deeply and as part of our expansion. So the project in Miami was our fifth expansion outside of kind of our traditional Kendall Square headquarters and home. We tend to expand to cities that are second or third cherry markets because we believe that's where we can add the most value. So we look for communities that have an incredible set of disparate, um, kind of I like to call it raw material. Mm. And South Florida, as you pointed out yourself, has such incredible entrepreneurial spirit, it has talent, it meets kind of a variety of, this criteria, of these criteria, sure. but no, it's not all converging, it's not all working together. There are a lot of gaps, there are a lot of silos. It's a pretty balkanized economic kind of development arena and a startup scene. And so for us, it's a really exciting time to come into a city and try to bring all of these elements together to help accelerate the pace of entrepreneurship, help accelerate the growth of innovation, things of that nature. Yeah, I think what's interesting too is that you're not just a startup hub. You do mm. so much more than that. Like you said, you bring all these different sure. pieces of the community together, including healthcare, you bring government, you bring policy, yeah. you bring all these people together. So talk a little bit about your space and how that all works together. And I imagine it's still growing. People are still learning about CIC, Absolutely. correct? Yeah. Absolutely, as with anything. I mean, we're, we're a complicated market. So as with anything, there's always parts of the community that we have yet to reach, segments of the community that we have to collaborate with, partners that we're still trying to secure, et cetera, et cetera, mm -hmm. growth that has still to go on. For us, so we have a physical footprint in each of our cities, and Miami's no exception. We have a physical innovation district. Each of the cities looks different but in the ideal scenario, this would be done in collaboration with one or more academic institutions. In the case of the Miami Project, our primary academic partner is the University of Miami. Um, the public sector, so how do we collaborate with the city, the county, the state level around incentives or projects that make sense to try to bring together and advance since we share very common goals around the economic development of the city. Enterprise, so what's happening with the corporate innovation sector, how are large corporations engaging or not in the entrepreneurial community, of course, startups, researchers, which is why we have laboratories. So the role of scientific research yeah. in a community. Talk about that. You have an actual wet lab. That's we pretty, do. Is that at every CIC or is it sort of almost. unique to Miami? It's almost in any CIC. In, in South Florida, it is pretty unique. I think we're the only one shared wet lab facility in South Florida. Um, and the reason why that's relevant is because laboratory space is really expensive to build and hard to come by. So if you're an early stage researcher, it creates a very hard buffer in terms of time and energy. You, it's right? a barrier for you to yeah. continue your research. And wh how, why, does that, why do we care about this? Why does that matter to the rest of us? Because we know from communities like San Francisco and Boston and New York that the rate of commercialization of academic research is a really big marker and has an incredible ripple effect into the development of the innovation community in any city. Yeah. So we want to support that in Miami as well. Talk about how we are really the gateway to Latin America and bringing in companies from that hemisphere to Miami and, oh. and working at CIC. I mean, we are, so in a, 
in addition to the physical footprint that we have, kind of the district, and of course, in our case now, the, the first building of the district that has already been built, for us, that's the basic part that we do. What we layer on top of that is what we're actually known for, which is what you're alluding to. It's all of these programmatic efforts, strategic initiatives, partnerships, just looking at the gaps, in, in this case, in Miami, and trying to figure out which of those gaps we can have some sort of impact in. One of those things that we've observed at the very beginning a few years ago was this idea of Miami as a gateway. We're such a natural place, geographically speaking, in terms of resources, in terms of the cultural barriers. We're a natural place to enter the U.S. market. We're a natural place for a company from Latin America looking to just focus on a regional strategy. It's easier to do that from here than from their own countries, mm -hmm. as well as vice versa. Sure. But a lot of those bridges were not as tangible. And so we've launched a series of initiatives around soft landing and exchange that are meant to be bidirectional. So how do we help companies, investors, different types of stakeholders engage in the U.S. market via Miami and vice versa? So you're about to launch your impact report. Tell us we more are. about that. So we're very excited about this. Um, we've been, we've launched about two and a half years ago. And as you know, it's very easy to just move on inertia and keep doing what you're doing. So we figured we'd pause for a minute and really measure and assess what is it that we've done? What have we launched? What has worked? And so we're putting out our two year kind of launch and growth impact report. And we're really proud of what we've done. I think we, the metrics show that we've been able to add real value to some of the core topics that we believe and care about in Miami. We've been able to launch new initiatives initiatives both for the city and the region as well as in the context of CAC as a whole and so we're just we're very excited to share it with with the folks in our in our network. Your other baby is the Awesome Foundation. So tell us more about yes. that. Yes. So the Awesome Foundation is my first baby in Miami. <laughs> um, at this point, I have founded several different organizations, and it was my first one. I started it when I moved here from New York, and to be fully transparent, because I was concerned about finding community in Miami, um, and so I figured you never know who you're going to meet. I'm going to I'm going to create the community that I want to be a part of, and so I started the Awesome Foundation chapter here. It is a micro grant lending entity, so we award usually one grant a month, sometimes more. They're very small, so they're $1,000 each. The goal is to be philanthropy that's really accessible on both sides of the equation. So for people who want to be philanthropists but are still young, early in their careers, have other priorities, contributing $100 a month over a period of kind of their membership in the board is a very accessible number. They feel like they're engaging the community, they're investing in their neighbors. It's a really beautiful feeling. And for other, for the applicants, everybody can apply, anybody. The, the barrier is so low. It's a very easy application online. Is this like what, five questions? It's three maybe? questions. Oh, three? Oh, it's three. Three questions. It's very it's really simple. Very simple. It's meant yeah. to be accessible to anyone and, and across yeah. any corner of give the city. Us, give us some example. We have about a minute left, but I know one was about teaching girls in Liberty City how to keep bees. To I keep bees. That was so cool. Yeah, we had a beekeeping one, um, and it was meant. It was using kind of the responsibility of beekeeping to both teach the girls about nature, about collaboration, about kind of working and caring for something. We've had everything on the gamut from uh, kind of for-profit companies and applications to uh, kind of individuals caring about some very tiny, minute thing that is of direct impact to their community, to nonprofits, to recurring projects that have now become annual events. It really, it's been wonderful. At this point, we have funded over 100 ideas, and wow. the majority of them have gone on to become some, somewhat sustaining in some way. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about how people can get involved with CIC. Just reach out to you? Yeah, CIC, visit our website. Okay. We have a variety of events every week, um, usually about 10 or more. So including our sister organization, Venture Cafe, has a gathering every yep. Thursday that's open to the community. Most of the things that we do are free and open to the public. And so yep. you can go easy into our website. Involved. Yeah, yeah, it's easy to find us. Thank you so much. Great to Thank meet you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, best Absolutely. of luck with everything you're doing. And to apply for an Awesome Foundation grant, visit Awesome Foundation. Org. As always, we'll have all this information for you, plus more on CIC Miami on our Facebook page at Yourself FL.